with being a photographer, I was able to do a bunch of different things. Able to land on an aircraft carrier and a helicopter. That was pretty cool. Got my goggle, flight goggles on. That's my Uber. So this is just one of the fun things of being a photographer. It's, uh, this is my office for the day. You know, they suit you up, sign a little release form, and you're on your way. Hi, I'm Mike Nowak, Chargers Team Photographer, gone on 25 years. Today I brought some of my favorite images with me to show you. What do I love about photography? I just, I just it's, it's such a unique craft. Like you can have 10 different people shoot the same thing and they're all gonna look a little bit different. It's just something about creativity. Everybody's a little bit different. Yeah, you can copy someone, but at the end of the day, when you go out on your own, you're gonna have your, your taste to it, your look to it. First image is from 2010. It's a photo of Sean Mirman. He was very vocal pregame with his teammates. They would gather around and, and kind of move a little bit and yell and, and just get fired up. And I thought it would be a cool idea to put a camera on the ground in the middle of the pile with an eight millimeter fisheye, which is a circular fisheye. It gives you a round image like a clock. So you can see everything, which is kind of a unique perspective. Cameras got stepped on once, so it was kind of a close thing. I think it was Sean actually just fired up, jumped up, came down, landed right next to the camera, and I'm looking at it. And uh, just going, please don't step on it. This big shoe right next to it. And, then he kept going, so I got lucky. So this, this is kind of a cool image. I'm down the sideline, kind of right outside the player box. We had this game in the bag, and Philip just broke character and looked down at me and gave me the thumbs up, like, we got this. So it was kind of a cool deal. I think he was out looking, and then he turned around. I had the camera out. It was a wider angle. Yeah, and then he just did that. Kept going. It was kind of cool. You don't see that very often. I like it. It's clean. It was like being able to see him when he came back. It was like uh, he never left. What's up? He's sneaking What's in up? like this. How are you, man? How are you? Good to see you. Still looks like he can play. Jump right in there and, and get after it. Just need to kind of hang back a little bit and see his teammates run up and, and say hi. He appreciated it, and you can tell. Just going back to the images that I shot from that day. And, you know, I had his kids there, and they're, they're a bit older now. I'm like, hey, do you remember me? And they're like, yeah, yeah, you shot us at practice. So it's kind of cool. It's like extended family. So, it was neat. 2001, Doug Flutie running out of the tunnel after 9-11. I know they got the flag from, I think, Sean O'Connor's front yard. Game day, ops guy grabbed a flag off his front yard on his way to work. Um, just little things that make the shot and so, so much better. It's just hearing the back stories. Like, it's a cool image on its own, but when it came together, I think they asked him, you know, would you carry the flag out? And he, Obviously, yes. This was one of my iconic photos that I really like. And uh, when Doug found out that I won an award for this at practice, he stopped what he was doing and came over to the sideline and shook my hand. So it was kind of cool. COVID time, it was crazy. They had very, very tight protocols. They had this big display in the end zone off center a little bit with a camera on underneath. And then they had fans on the display so when a team would score they can run up to the fan cam and kind of pose and cheer like it was a full stadium and the guys they enjoyed it i had a remote camera and i set it up on a floor stand right in front of the fan cam you know we had a big play and i was in the corner of the end zone and fired it it's kind of a unique unique shot that you will not get today during a nfl game you can see the stands are empty. There's nobody in the foreground. It's just uh, two guys celebrating it. The image is great. I like it. It's, it's intimate. It's wide. It kind of shows the whole atmosphere. It's Cleveland 04. It was the coldest game I've ever shot by far. We had the big jackets and everything, but it didn't help. I mean, you can feel the cold air coming in through the eyelets of your shoelace on the shoe that was so cold. I was kind of envious of the heated bench and the, the jet blowers they have. The bench was a little bit warmer, but where I was at, it was not warm at all. It was a horrible day to be outside, but great football pictures. Gates is just, you know, he's a phenomenal athlete, uh, very gifted. Uh, the guy was smooth, made the guys uh, on the other team work to bring him down, because he was a, he's a big guy. This is the ultimate fly on the wall shot right here. This is post game after a win over the Chiefs in 2021. 
This is just the middle of my post-game coverage, starting with quarterback shaking hands after the game, and then basically followed Justin, stalked him up to the locker room. He turns and goes into the locker room, just throws his arm up out of nowhere in front of all his fan mates, and uh, this is what you get. Just kind of held the camera up, got a couple clicks off, but this was just kind of something that, how sweet it is to win. Shot right here. I'm just being creative here, not probably the smartest thing I can be doing. I'm standing on top of the stadium at Qualcomm. I think it's four or five feet wide at the most. There's a little hole with a ladder and you go behind the scoreboard. The stadium people put a little camera mount here, just bolted it right to the concrete. So I can mount my camera and angle it out over this ledge here so I can get wide shots of the stadium during the game with a remote. Uh, it worked great for flyovers too. Here I'm just uh, with a fisheye with a camera on a pole doing a selfie. This is before selfies were cool. Morning, morning. You know, I've always told the guys, I'm here for you. My job is to make you guys look larger than life, to capture powerful, dramatic images. Just, I think there's a trust that you develop. Fly around, have fun, lean on your brother when it gets tough. Sticks together on two. One, two. Sticks together. Gotcha. You know, these days I just tell the guys to go out there and have fun. And I think they appreciate it because it's a lot of work. And you put a lot of heart, sweat, and tears into some stuff and you forget that it's your passion. Whether it's football, photography, videography, whatever, it's you got to remind yourself how much you love your craft. And just doing interviews like this reminds me of, you know, what I like to do and it's been a been a great journey.